Hey, welcome back, guys. This is the second episode of my franchise mode in MLB 12, the show, with, of course, the San Diego Padres. And you can take a look at the screen right now. You can see how we're doing. 7-4 home, five or total record, 5-2 and two home, 2-2 two and two on the road. The Rockies are just not doing that great. You can take also a look at the, how we match up. But uh, I mentioned in the last episode that I wanted to talk about some of the, the, the uh, transactions that I had made in the last... Um, for that well, actually, the first week of baseball, I was the first team making transactions, putting people on the trading block, which nobody was looking on the trading block within the first week. But I was looking to make things happen because I found out within the first oh, I don't know, four or five games that my pitching staff <laughs> leaves something to be desired. I it, the the starting rotation for the 2012 Padres in real life and with the game leaves something to be desired. So I quickly made some trades. I traded for Jake Peavy. I traded Clay, uh, Clay Meredith, um, Cameron Maven, my center fielder, to the uh, to the White Sox for Jake Peavy. Uh, I picked up Brad. This is my first home run of the season. I was like, yes, about freaking time. You know, 11 games into the season, I put one out. Um, you'll see a lot of that, not from me, but just in general. This this was a much needed game from. <laughs> From the from the first eleven that we had. So, anyways, um, so I picked up Brad Penny from free agent from the free agent list. I picked up um, John Lackey from the Red Sox for Houston Street, and the reason being is because I think that um, there are some pitchers on our rotation that, well, at least when you play in a franchise mode, you don't really need a specific closer. You know, and there's someone you can put anybody in the closer role for the most part. Um, but the one thing that I thought was that Luke Gregerson could be a great closer because he's got a nasty slider and a decent fastball and a changeup. So I opted to make him a closer. And I actually did go in and I edited the character to make him a closer. So I don't know if that does anything for whatever, but it just puts him on the roster as a closer, not just like a relief pitcher in the closing position. And then fielding-wise, um, I'm a sucker for sentimental things. So I actually traded... Carlos Quentin away, which was a really bad idea after the fact. Uh, I, I traded Carlos Quentin away for Tony Gwynn Jr. And then when I played against the Dodgers in Los Angeles after I made that trade, um, he hits a bomb off me his first at-bat. I was like, oh, damn it. And then uh, I picked up uh, Derek Lee on the free agent list. And right before this, not this game, but the game before. And he made an immediate impact on my team. I mean, it's a remarkable how much one player could actually adjust, like change the team's behavior because he went in the first game he drove in three runs, you know. And my player, I drove in three runs in ten games, so it's it was just one of those things. I don't know if it was him, or if it was just like playing in Colorado and you know in Mile High here at Coors Field. Anyways, it was like a total change and a much needed change because, and as <laughs> as Hunley hits one out. Um, he goes on a little tear. Him, Kyle Blanks, um, and O-Dog, Orlando Hudson, they go on a tear. But this was a much-needed change because, I don't know about you guys, whenever, whenever I play any sort of baseball game, even franchise mode, even road to the show, sometimes you just don't hit. You just can't hit for some reason. Well, especially in franchise modes, it, it gets so frustrating because of the fact that you're trying really hard. Oh, check out this diving play. I had to give props to him. I was like, that's pretty good. But there are these times in franchise modes where you're just tearing it up. Like right now, the, the game before this one and this one, I am just tearing the cover off the ball. And the Rockies aren't helping themselves out because they had like three or four errors in the, the days, uh, the game before this one. And they had three or four errors in this game too. So they really weren't helping themselves out. And their bats weren't really alive. They didn't really come alive until uh, the end of the game. There's one of their errors. But before that, when I played against the Dodgers, I, I think the last, the Sunday game, uh, there's Blanks. I think that's his first bomb of the day, or maybe it's the second bomb. But um, the Dodgers, I scored four runs in the first inning against the Dodgers on the Sunday game. And then they came back, and they picked up a run here, and then they picked up a run there, and then they scored three runs, and then they scored five runs. And I started the game out just unloading on the starting pitcher. And as the game progressed, this guy, he tightened up. And he worked me so hard. Um, I couldn't hit anything, and every time I did hit something, it was a ground ball to the shortstop, ground ball to the second baseman, line out to the center field, line out to the left fielder. I just couldn't get a gapper, you know? And um, the Dodgers, they just kept hitting the ball. And they 
It was so maddening because, um, did you love that? It's another error by the shortstop. He had a horrible game. I think he made like three errors on his, by himself. Uh, but the Dodgers, they, they, I don't know if you guys have ever had this when you're playing franchise mode, but the other team hit everything. They hit everything I threw. There was not one pitch that went by for, a, unless it was a ball, there was nothing that went by within the strike zone that they did not hit for a base hit or a double or a home run. That happened to me. I think it was Ethier and Matt Kemp hit two home runs, you know, almost in the same inning. So they went back to back. Um, or they fouled pitches off. They fouled off, fouled off, fouled off. I was going nine nine pitches per at bat. It was so frustrating. I was just like, I was almost, I was at that point where I was like, fuck, man, I'm going to simulate the hell of this game. It's just frustrating. I can't deal with the Dodgers right now. So the Dodgers are right right now are my nemesis if I can keep up this uh, this attack. And this is when the Rockies are, are they start coming back. I mean, if you can come back from a you know twenty run deficit, <laughs> sixteen sorry sixteen to one at this point. But my HD PVR does cut out towards the end. I only I, I lose in the seventh inning. So I don't I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna start recording in like 15, 20 minute like bunches cutting them together instead of trying to record one big long gameplay so it, it'll just be I mean it's not really gonna matter for my video making it, it's just I'll have to remember to do that because for some reason it just doesn't want to do it so anyways guys uh, what are we in the seventh inning this game's gonna wrap up here in another minute or so I'll go ahead and let this thing play out and uh, you guys can watch the rest of the highlights but I'm glad you guys are enjoying it I, I like, like seeing the comments on there hey like when's the next franchise mode um, I think the next episode I'll talk about my finances and then some of the things I'm going to do. Uh, oh, there's blank second bomb. Um, some of the things I'm going to do as far as like vendors and amenities and stuff like that. Uh, because we're on the road right now and I don't feel like spending money on the stadium when we're on the road. So I'll work on that. Oh man, this guy totally unloads on that change up too. Um, I'll start working on that when I get back to San Diego. So anyway, anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, sorry this thing cuts out so soon. And I'll talk to you later.